Hello friends, so let's learn about the SAP Web Intelligence Data Return Restrictions from the queries. So earlier we learned about the SAP Web Intelligence main basics concept. So now we'll going to cover about the data restrictions, how we can restrict the data from uh, for the report uh, available in the SAP. So first lesson to is restricting data with the query filter. So how to how we can restrict the data. So what is the restriction of the data? So it is means we can fill, retrieve uh, the subset of available data based on the definition of a filter means you, you can uh, give some conditions on some queries and then based on that condition we will retrieve subset of available data so suppose there are 10 rows and we just need some uh, uh, few records out of that based on some of the conditions so that is filtering of the uh, query uh, what are the advantages of the query filters so it retrieves and focus only the data you need to answer the specific business question. So just the relevant data. The second one is remi limit the data. You don't want uh, specific users to see and access the document. So we can limit the data means if you want means as a developer, we don't want to see some some users to see some specific data. So that also we can limit then minimize the data which is returned uh, to the document. So means while retrieving the data from the database means if you are minimizing by uh, the data by applying some conditions it will automatically uh, improve the performance so these are the three main advantages of uh, query filters and now let's see means what are the components of the query filters so the key components one is object the other one is operator and third one is operand so object is the one on which we wanted to filter the data the operator is the relationship between the objects and the operand. So there are many operators like we will see in our next slide, which shows equal to, not equal to, like greater than, greater than, equal to, etc, etc. Operand, the object value is to be used for filtering. This will be the value, actual value which will be used uh, using to filter. Like say, for example, I want to filter uh, the data with the country name is equal to uh, us so what i can do country i'll uh, my object will be country then operator will be equal to and then operand will be us okay so let's move ahead uh, what are the type of uh, query filters there are uh, four types of query filters predefined query filters which are built into the universe uh, while designing the universe Second one is single and multi-value filters, uh, then prompted query filters and complex filters. So let's see means one by one what, what the, uh, does this means all these filters. So single value query filters, if we see customer is equal to Jones. So I, I'm just specifying one only one value in the operand field. So that means it is a single value. And if, if you are specifying multiple values, if you see in this country is in a list, France, hold on like that. So it, it becomes multi-value query filter. Now, predefined query filter, see if you see this is US customer is a predefined query filter, which is which is built in a universe at universe level. So as a report builder or report developer, we cannot change this filter. Uh, so suppose I, I just wanted to have the results means as a universe designer wanted to restrict the data for us customers only then what he can do uh, he can uh, apply this filter or create this filter at the universe while designing the universe so th that is predefined query filters prompted query filters will will prompt the users to enter their details like see resort in list enter the values for resort so this this will means when user refresh the document or a report it will prompt for uh, the user that enter the values for resort. So based on the condition means whatever the value he will enter for that particular value, the data will be displayed. So this is one type. The last one is complex filters. So complex filters are uh, different filters which, which are more than one filter. Like if there are like age group I, I just wanted to filter and then reservation year or country like these are the examples one 
so that can be um, more than one then that can be combined with and or or operator so we'll see in this details as well in this complex filters let's see what are the list of operators by operators means whatever we are specifying here in this customer is equal to or in list this is nothing but the operators so we we need to understand these operators as well what are all operators available in sap uh, web intelligence tool so first one is equal to so this is equal to specified value which will it, it will retrieve the data different from it will different uh, uh, retrieve the data which is different from specified value suppose different from q2 means quarter 2 is uh, apart from quarter 2 it will display the data for other quarters greater than greater it will retrieve the data greater than a specified value greater than or equal to it will greater than or equal to a specified value then less than a less than will retrieve the data which is lower than a specified value less than or equal to will uh, ret retrieve lower than or equal to a specified value between operator what it will do is it will add a, a range parameter or suppose i want to filter the data based on start date and end date so for that purpose we can use between not between is the opposite of the between which will uh, give the data um, outside the range specified uh, of the specified values so, on the right side if you see this column it is having all these uh, examples uh, in list uh, so this is in list will retrieve the same whatever the values we are specifying in the upfront value they are not in list different to a multiple uh, specified values uh, the next one is is null it means this is the operator where there is any null value then it will uh, retrieve that value uh, if it is not null then it will retrieve that value which is not null matches pattern uh, and different from pattern these are related to the wild cards uh, like percentage and uh, underscore so that is the two operators uh, are being used including a specific uh, string suppose phone number matches pattern uh, it's like percentage 432 percentage so whenever in phone number it has 432 number it will retrieve all those phone numbers different form pattern it is opposite to this matches pattern so whenever it will show percentage 47 is available it will not retrieve that data if you are using different form pattern option both uh, it will retrieve the data which is corresponding to two specific values suppose account type is equal to both savings and current expect except uh, which is corresponding uh, to one specified value but not to the second value means it will retrieve see suppose account type is equal is savings expect uh, current so it will retrieve savings but not current account type okay i hope you are understanding let's move uh, forward um, lesson to how we can apply a single value query filter so as you all know means uh, how, how we can apply single value query filter is nothing but a, which the data which is written by a specific objects to a single value so finding a data as an example finding a data related to a certain store name by building a condition on the store name dimension objects and selecting the store name you are interested in by selecting it from the dialog box so this is uh, the way we can add you see uh, now let's see means how we using wildcards in a query filters how we can use wildcards so it will restrict the return code or return data that to the values that contain a certain character pattern so every data in the database must be having some character pattern so based on that character pattern we can retrieve the data so for that we can use these two operators matches pattern and different form pattern so matches pattern will just retrieve the values that matches the pattern specified and different from pattern to find the different from the pattern specified okay so this is an example means uh, how matches pattern works uh, so percentage and underscore are the two wild card which has been used so percentage uh, is any number of unspecified characters or underscore is a single unspecified character so now if you see ra percentage so it will return all the names starting with RA. 
Okay, so example, if you see Ram, Ramesh, Ranjit, like this, all which are starting from RA, it will give that results. If you see this other one is percentage RAM percentage, that means whatever the starting point, whatever the start or whatever the end, uh, let us is fine, means, but it should have ra RAM has uh, in a string, so it will return all the names which contains RAM. Okay, Ram, Ramesh, R Ram, Ram, Jay Ram, like that. R underscore M, this will return uh, names that starts with R and ends with M. So, and I have only one single character, unspecified character between S and M. So, in, in our list, so RAM is the only list which is having, uh, starting with R and ending with M. So, Ramesh is not the valid because it ends with H. Uh, this other also it's not uh, ending with M so only only Ram was uh, the word which was ending with M so it has written that Ram okay uh, let's move forward lesson 4 which is using prompts to restrict the data how we can um, use the prompts so prompted filter allows multiple users viewing single document to specify different subsets of subsets of data and uh, display them in the same tables and charts in a report. So if you see this screenshot where it has a resort in list, enter the values for resort. So this is one uh, prompted filter, which we can specify the data that is retrieved and displayed in the report, allowing to focus on specific part of information available. So define a question that displays whenever the data in the document is refreshed, user can answer the prompt either by entering or choosing a value. Okay, so when we add a prompt means it has these properties, pro prompt variety properties which we need to specify. So first um, prompt text is enter values for a city. This we can change it to anything means like enter uh, values or select values like that. Prompt properties, prompt with the list of values, keep last value selected, select only from list and optional prompt. So these are the four important uh, properties uh, related to prompt. The and last one is set default property so let's see means uh, what are these uh, properties prompt text you can enter the text which we wanted to display to prompt the users prompt with the list of values choose this option to display all the values for the objects and allow users to choose from those values select only from list it will select only from the list which is uh, available and it will prevent users from entering the values and that does not exist in the database Keep last value selected, choose this option to display by default the value chosen at the previous refresh. Then optional prompt, choose this optional mm -hmm. option to allow users to refresh the document without responding to prompt. Means we, we can make a optional prompt and not a mandatory prompt over, while running the reward. So if you if user just don't want to enter the value, he can directly skip that param parameter and it will return the result for all the query set default values will set the default values uh, that uh, that display the prompt okay now um, coming to the complex filters how we can use uh, complex filters so first one is when used multiple conditions or query filters it becomes a complex filter so if there are multiple conditions or query filters then it is a complex filter uh, so to produce a report that precisely focuses on a certain data, you may need to apply more than one filter in a query. So the relationship between the filters must use AND and OR operators. So if you see this AND and op OR operators, we must use this AND and operator when, whenever uh, we are using complex filters. So what does this AND mean? So it, it, it says that when both conditions made to return the data, from the database and or is will when either of the conditions met to the return the data from the database so and are, are opposite to each other so if you see this diagram and will get a common data from a and b uh, and or will give the uh, any of the value which which is matching the conditions from a and b a or b while um, specifying complex uh, filters we need to prioritize the 
of uh, prompts as well so means which parameters we can uh, which input prompts we want to specify on top and then second like third so if you see this is a prompt order we can specify so i wanted to display uh, first prompt is for city then country or reservation here so we can change it in whatever way we want by clicking on this arrows up and down so these are the um, operator uh, prioritization okay uh, we came to an end of these things means what is the reasons uh, to use query filters uh, we are just checking the understanding of our session what is the reason to use query filters what is single value and multi value query filters which operators do you use to find out the values that match the pattern is this guy and which logical operator do you use to group two query filters so these are the two uh, four questions uh, are there let's go to the answers of these uh, let's see what is the reason to use query filters to retrieve the specific data that's what the main uh, function of the query filter what is single value and multi value query filters single value query filters uh, which al allows only one value in a filter condition multi value will allow multiple uh, values in the filter condition which operator do you use to find out the value that matches the pattern okay so the matches pattern is the operator which we want, uh, we can use and the last one is which logical operator uh, do you use to group uh, to query filters so the or operator we can use when we want to get the data which is matching either of the query filters okay so that's all from uh, this video uh, hope uh, we'll meet uh, next video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching the video